Pab Stewart's very unique in its geology and its geography, but I suppose because Shetland House said they're remote to rural communities, we spent generations being sort of an afterthought at the back end of nowhere. Many people are incredibly fortunate in the UK to live in a location where they do have uh, good connectivity and they can be sure that that connectivity is there for them in an emergency. In an incredibly beautiful location like Papa Store, people don't have the same guarantees and uh, that's why we're seeking to improve the connectivity here today. Papasur was a traditionally crofting community. We are a bit of the fishing industry as well, but I suppose as technology advanced, people moved away because they were able to. You need the infrastructure here to attract people, and I suppose connectivity is a huge part of that because that's a basic need for especially young people nowadays. Unlike traditional satellite dishes where you need one dish on each house, here you can aggregate a number of households through one terminal. And that, working with our local um, internet service provider like Claris, enables effectively community broadband. So there's basically three reasons why we chose Papa Store. First of all, it's an incredibly remote location. It's one of the most challenging places to reach in the UK. The second reason is because uh, we are a long way north and uh, we're testing the capabilities of the technologies at this parallel of the Earth. And then the third reason is that there is a community here already. There is some connectivity, but it's not good enough for them. And whilst the trials are running, we want to share the connectivity for the benefit of the community. So this particular deployment is really illustrative of the collaboration between the UK government and Claris and OneWeb. Claris is the embodiment of the UK innovation spirit. Small company, lot of initiatives and very competent in what they are doing. We need the umbrella of the UK government and the Digital Divide initiative to make those things happen. We don't believe in one size fits all. We believe in partnership, in collaboration, and, and really the role of this collaboration is to find the perfect solution for each community. Currently there are seven permanent residents. There are a lot of other individuals with very close ties to Papa Stewart. They still have houses here, so they're as emotionally connected to the community as anybody that's permanently living here as well. My three times great-grandfather and grandmother lived on Papa Stewart here in Shetland. I think they get a lot out of the walking, the amount of nature that's here on the island. We've just celebrated our 50 years on this beautiful island. We've come through the eras in a way. We arrived without running water, without electricity, that it is a wonderful place to bring up a family. The terminal being installed is a new piece of equipment. It's an antenna from a company uh, called Kaimeta and it works with the OneWeb constellation. As soon as the connection is live, we should see the community being able to come to the community hub here, which is a mothballed school facility, and use that connectivity. Um, it's been really good getting the network up and running. It's pretty much plug and play, to be fair. There's not really much to do for the, the tech side. The Kaimeta is it's, it's ideal because you can, you can literally fit it in a van. Other stuff is like big towers and stuff. It's not as portable as these. It's a real achievement launching 630 satellites, 44 ground stations around the world, working relentlessly over the last 10 years to make this happen. To think that this is the first commercial installation of this technology in Europe and to think it's here in Papa Stewart, yeah, it's fantastic and I think it bodes well for the future. <laughs>